Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for April 8th through the 14th. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an Oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me Taurus for the week of April 8th through the 14th. come out so I'm not going to stop it okay let's see what's going on here huh oh Ooh, I see victory for you Taurus and the reason I do is because no one can stop you from getting what is meant for you and in the immediate past right here, we have the page of <clears throat> the page of wands. So I see a lot of optimism. I see a lot of fun and excitingness. And also some of you like standing up, being a public speaker, um, just kind of getting the word out there, having a good time with this page of wands. You might've been dealing with someone who was just, you know, having a great time, but I am definitely seeing a lot of people there in this card that are really interested. Like, Oh, you're intriguing Taurus. Okay. So in the current situation, we have the nine of swords in reverse. So I'm getting like worries are gone. Um, you know, some of you are coming out of a situation where you're like, you know what? I used to worry about the, this, that, and the other, and now I'm not. However, there's going to be temptation that does arise in the immediate future. So just prepare yourself because, um, this temptation also comes in the form of fear, you know, things that are going to try and say, Hey, you know, uh, energies around you, if not people around you that will try and make you, come down from that cloud nine and that you're on is what it feels like because, you know, having a good time moving forward, trying not to stress, stress-free. Um, I also see you staying really committed to like, I'm not going to worry about things that I can't control. I'm just going to do what I need to do for myself. But that devil energy is like the temptation of other people trying to hold on to you and get you to do things that are not going to be beneficial for your growth. So your advice coming out is the night of wands, you know, making these bold moves, but also having fun, being a little spontaneous and, and just living in the moment. I like this. We'll clarify everything and see what's underneath the surface. And if everything continues the way that it's going for you and you maintain that positive attitude, I do see the six of wands as your victory in your outcome and recognition, fame, um, just really feeling like you come out on the winning end of this situation here. So let's go ahead and clarify that page of wands for your immediate past. Interesting. So this page of wands, even though it was fun in the immediate past and you were having a good time, I do see some cautiousness here. I see you were trying to learn new things, you know, start something here, stay focused on your goals. Some of you becoming your own boss, if not just leveling up in life and it looks really good. But I also do see a cautiousness around people who are, um, just kind of there for the moment and wanting to leave. So those people, I really get your intuition was heightened and um, that you were very cautious of certain people. You felt like this is just not for me long-term, but that's okay. And so um, as you're moving forward, you're putting some blocks from those people that um, 
are just in and out or inconsistent, just there for the moment, gone and then come back. And you're like, I don't need that. I even see someone who's kind of pushy, like trying to push something um, your way in your direction that you were like, no, uh, there's boundaries there. I'm not for that. So I like the way that, you know, this is coming out because this bull is really putting, you know, you're like putting your hooves in the ground, like, uh, uh, nope you can't change me. You can't, you know, I like the learning. I like the, um, the new, I, you know, beginnings here, the new, um, seeds that you're sowing and really staying focused on what's ahead. It's beautiful. Oh, I love this. So for your current situation, no worries. I love that you are, some of you are actually in love with somebody feeling the love all around you with this person, or you are just getting back to yourself, you know, following your heart, um, you know, catching up with some friends here, not worrying about things and speaking your mind, speaking your truth. So we have the queen of cups. We have the six of cups as well as the king of swords at the bottom of the deck is the death card. And I am feeling that huge transition and change for you because I do get you had been stressed about certain things in the past or caught, you know, even that cautious measure, this feels like something before what is showing up here. And it feels like you are no longer stressed over whatever this is and that following your heart and listening to yourself and really, um, getting back to things that you love, reconnecting with friends, um, and just speaking your truth, doing the right thing is creating a big change and transition for you. And it feels really good. And I feel like that's where that devil comes in, in your immediate future, because the devil's like, oh, I really don't want to see you win. So then this can be in the form of someone, um, who could be envious. This could also be in the form of the energy around because let's not lie. The devil never wants to see us succeed ever. And oh, this is somebody toxic for you. So this is a relationship. Um, if not, yeah, you're not interested and you will end up ghosting this person. So this is somebody with that. And now this devil energy is also somebody who is very attractive and, but you know, it's not good. <laughs> so this person will do nothing but destroy things with you, play games with your heart. And you know, you're not interested. I see you shocking this person, which really hurts their ego because you're not accepting this cup they're offering. They're like, nobody ever turns me down and you are and maybe that is actually the energy of the devil where he's like hey I'm tempting you with this cup and don't you want it do you want it and you're like no I don't want it I'm good and so I see this the moon card right here as you know what um there's things that you might not know about this person or situation that arises but you know that it's not good for you and trusting your intuition is going to lead you to a lot of success and I love that for you um so don't let people or things that come up that can tempt you into falling backwards off of you know your progression path towards success and feeling really good don't allow that to to get the best of you because the fact that you're going through this huge transformation and change right when we're on the verge of some big breakthrough that tends to happen to everyone so i like how you are you know digging your feet in the ground here and really rooting yourself like nobody can move me i am this tree that can't be broken i love that um you know it can't be lifted out of the ground i love this so let's go ahead and clarify the knight of wands so in the immediate future too i'm just saying like you know still do things that way um, because at the end of the day it's your decision you know what you want also some of you in this current situation where you're not stressed and you are talking to somebody from the past, um, here, a past relationship or a past friend or whatever, in the immediate future, you find out that this person just has a very destructive demeanor to them. They're negative. They say things that just make really turn you off. And so that's where this Knight of Wands is saying, um, with the Fool, the Knight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune coming out as clarification. I like this. Um, so your advice is saying, you know, keep making these bold moves and have a fresh start here and um, stay on track 
because that Knight of Pentacles is somebody who follows through with what they're going to do. And you're going to see a lot of blessings moving forward. Also, even if it's a relationship for some of you, it's going to be a romantic relationship. Also unions and um, relationships that feel very close to you. It doesn't, the lovers doesn't always have to be a romantic relationship because it is about, you know, two people wanting the same thing here, but also about um, unions and relationships that are very strongly built. And that's what you're attracting acting to yourself is real love. Um, whether it comes in the form of romance, friendship, you know, your soul tribe or all of the above, it looks really good. So if things continue the way that they're going with this six of wands as your outcome clarification here, Oh my goodness. Love this. I love there's so something so much better for you ahead here. Okay. So the six of wands is clarified by the 10 of cups, the seven of swords, and then the six of pentacles, as well as the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, meeting new people. Um, I also get not just new people, but love here. Um, this is going to be win-win outcome. This is definitely a lot of love. What makes you truly happy? Um, um, and being strategic, I feel like having a plan and being kind of like um, strategic with how you give and take from this. Now, this person could also surprise you, um, come in as a form of a surprise. And whenever you meet this person, if you haven't already, um, they like to surprise you with gifts and it's about moving in together, getting married, things like that. This person's going to be very, very serious about you. And then if it's a relationship, you know, friendships or your soul tribe, um, you're dealing with people who genuinely want to see you succeed um, and not people that want to see you fail. And I get that these people that come into your life to, um, you know, build you up and, and you know, want you to do well, um, putting that energy into it just as much as you are like, go Taurus, you know, cheering you on, I guess. Um, those people are also going to be people that are very protective of you. They don't want anyone to ever hurt you. And I like that. I feel like you got like your entire tribe waiting for you. Okay. You got quite a few Oracle messages that came out. And the first one that came out is joy, delight, open your heart to joy. Absolutely. Okay. And that's what you're doing and moving forward towards. And I feel that this joy, delight and, um, opening your heart to joy card also comes out, um, for this devil energy, because when you're going through that, when you have something happen that feels like, oh my gosh, why did this happen? It's just, it comes in the form of someone, if not the energy of the devil trying to instill fear in you that everything's going to go wrong and trying to cause that mental conflict. And you're going to be tired of it. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. Just remember that opening your heart to joy is going to definitely defeat those negative thoughts there. So valiant courage, take action with passion. You want it, go get it, Taurus. It's yours. Okay. And fogged and go slow, take time. Some things you will need to think about. Okay. So even though you're taking action with passion, make sure that you're giving a lot of, um, practical thought as well. You know, you're passionate about these things, but to also think <laughs> here, enjoy things, have fun, but don't forget to think about some things here. Go slow, take your time. There's no need to rush. Also, even with a new people or a new person in love, you don't have to rush with this person. That's great. I love that. So protected by angels, you are cherished by by the angels. I love this for you. So this is what I have, Taurus. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.